How's it going, YouTubers? Electron Man. Another box opening today. Then we're going to be opening one of these Chicago Electric uh, Flex 125 welders that I purchased over at Harbor Freight. Let's get to the opening. Hope everybody's doing well today. I've had this for a little while. I, I need to get the little welding cart together before I open it up. So we have got that done. Like in fact, I got a video on that out. But uh, there's the owner's manual. Little guide to welding. Uh, looks like we got a brush and a slag remover. Uh, looks like that is the handle to the uh, mask they give you. Which, from what I've seen, is kind of a joke. I mean, I guess in a pinch it would work, but uh, I've got a much better mask. Yeah, and that's the glass that goes in the mask. And let's see here. This bead is full of uh, flux core wiring. Small spool. Flux core 030. Uh, looks like we've got a, a tip and a screw and a bolt. Not sure exactly what all that goes to, but sure we'll get to it. Off of here. You can just uh, turn it upside down. It's pretty heavy. Bang! Well, there we go. Nothing else in the box. There's your high quality mess that's included with it. I make fun of it, but I'm sure it's working it in. Back over. up a little closer and get a closer view of it. There you go. And yeah, let's see what we got here. Yeah. All your various wires are all bundled up back here. I didn't get a open box special. Doesn't look like it. I bought brand new. Power cord. Which is uh, about six foot long. Not too bad. your uh, root tip before feeding new wire through. Okay. Feels uh, kind of worried about that kink in there. Hopefully it's not going to cause me a problem. There's the tip of it. Button. It feels pretty good in the hand. It says to remove tip before fitting, which this thing just adds screws off here. And how do you remove the tip? I guess you just get a pair of. Yeah. And then it just unscrews off like that. It says remove it before feeding. Okay. There's the torch with the tip off. Let's see, okay, and then we've got the 
top handle goes here. It's got one screw in it, which is going to line up with the one hole, obviously. Like just, yeah, it slides in. It just, uh, the handle just slides. See the little notches on the side there? It just slides in like that into the metal slot there. And uh, then we're going to put the one screw in, which does it have? Looks like it's got one screw holding it. Here. I guess that's what I need. Just take that one screw out so the maybe the lid flips open. I'm guessing. No, that didn't do the trick. Oh, you put that screw back in there. I think I went about this wrong. I think it flips this way. Yeah. Ah, okay. Probably would have my even instructions, but there's a button there. I'm guessing you just push that button. Yeah. Okay. So that slides in there. Chipped a piece there. Don't do it like me. There we go. Whoops. There we go. Yeah, hopefully that didn't hurt it too bad. Then you push this. And then I saw it came with one screw here. all the way through and it's got a nut and a lock washer and a flat washer so I'm guessing this just goes through here yeah oh goody like that's gonna be fun to put in I don't know what are you supposed to do that hmm you know I'm not impressed with that idea uh, let's see if I can use a magnetic tip screwdriver. I got it. Yep. Yeah. And you just put that screw in there. At least it's kind of slotted and you drop it down in there. And then we're just going to tighten this one up. Let's be turning in there. Just keep driving in there, there's a long one. Having a wedge 
make something behind that screw to try to keep it from turning while I tighten it on this side. There we go. Okay. Handles on now. Not exactly the easiest handle I've ever put on, but it's on there now. Here's my tip, which I'm guessing I swore there was a package with Yeah, there was. Okay, there's a this is an 030 Since they're both 030s. You know how to read that. And yeah, they're both 003 tips. You to read that. Yeah, they're both 003 tips. So you get two tips. And now let's get back to, well, I guess the only other thing to do is to, uh, that ought to give you a better view of me loading the wire there. Here we go. So let me go ahead and unspool this wire, get the plastic off the wire. A little protection on it. Let's see here, it says it wants to go this way. Well, I can tell this stuff when I unspool in a hurry. Which you can read those instructions right there too. Uh, and it face towards you, a little spring. So the wire is going to want to go this way, and then put the little top cover back on it, spring back on it. And then we just screw the knob back on it. I don't know how tight you're supposed to get it. And let me clean off the end of this wire. It's kind of kinked on the end. And then it says to put it in this hole here. go of that wire because it's going to unspool like a spring. Well, duh. Okay. I have no idea what this damn knot does. Oh, then once you get the tension off of it, it'll come off. Okay. Hopefully you're getting that. Yeah, so you, had, you flip that over there. Okay, and then you lock that back down like that. Okay, uh, it says comparative feed roller. Well, I better check that. I'm sure it's right, but take this cover off. And I guess the feed roller has the size on it too. Lovely. Once I fed it with wire, it doesn't want to feed out. But anyway, I know it's right, but I guess the feed roller has a. Yeah, it does. 30 on there. Okay. So we know we got the right size. Uh, compare the wire diameter. Uh, plus, secure the. F How, do you secure it? I mean, I think that's tension, is what that is. Okay. Do you feed it now? 
Yep, she's feeding now, if you can see that. And I'm just feeding it till it comes out this end, is what I'm gonna be doing. What's happened here? seeing that. Wow, is it ever going to come through the end here? By the way, this is about six foot long. It looks like a cord on this handle, or hand, handle, yeah, I guess the torch handle. It's kind of slipping so I tightened that tension up just a little bit but I don't think I want it too tight because then it'll start bending in there. But uh, I might go a little tighter. I'm waiting. I have to spoil before it comes out. I'm not coming out somewhere else. Makes you question. It's got to be getting close. I'm still. I've been holding it. You see it? There we go. I think that's pretty much it. it. Says to check the wire's drive tension, feed the wire against a piece of wood from two or three inches away. If the wire stops instead of bending, turn the wire and turn the welder off. Unplug it, slightly tighten the tension or clockwise. If the wire bends from feed tension, then the tension is set properly, so it should bend. Okay. Let me get the tip back on it. Let's see here. Let's slide the tip back in there. Tighten it up a little bit. It wasn't real tight. There we go. And then, uh, where's the where's the hoodie? There it is. Screw that piece on there, and then I'm gonna cut this off, and then it says to feed it, and if it bends the wire, let's see if you can. Well, that's definitely not the right tension. Still not been in the wire, so tighten it some more. And that's about all she's gonna get as far as tension, I think. Yeah, that's about right. It is bending it now, which is pretty much all the way in on tension. She'd be working now. I think that's it, really. Um, I don't think this thing does anything. That's just a little cover. Pretty much that's it. And then, uh, say if you want to do 18 gauge. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll come back. Let me uh, get this set on the card and I'll come back. We'll do just a little quick test weld and see what she looks like. Okay, guys. I got her all sitting on the stand and plugged in and we're going to give her a little practice weld and see how she does. 
Um, so far, I'm really happy with the with the welder and the stand. I think it makes a good looking combo. I'll show it once I finish welding and put it back up. It holds all my stuff too, and you have room there for a couple extra spools of wire and etc. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and see if we can drop some dimes. Okay, I'm just gonna try to line a little pass through here, just kind of show that it's working. I'm no welder, by the way, so this is new to me. Okay, well that's my first weld. Let's see what we ended up with. Get my little slack camera hang it. Okay, let's take a look. That's on a uh, about eighth inch plate there, by the way. What do you think, guys? It's a nice bead. Man, I've uh, I've done a lot of arc welding. And I tell you what, after you've done a lot of arc welding, going to a MIG, it's just like total difference, man. You can, you can lay a bead that looks like, like, a, like a pro. You know, amateur can, because I sure am an amateur. And it's a nice looking bead there. But anyway, uh, like I said, that was on like eight inch plate. So uh, she's definitely doing what she needs to. It'll, uh, be a handy little item to have around here in a shop. And there you go. There's my uh, Harbor Freight MIG welder setup. See, I got two trays of stuff there, and it's also this cart's even got. If I wanted to go to a gas MIG, it's got a you can mount a bottle on the back. But uh, anyway, I like this little Chicago Electric for the light welding I'm going to be doing. I mean. It'll go all the way up to 3 16th, so it's definitely uh, anything I would be meant welding would uh, be within that. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this little short video on the Chicago Electric Welder from Harbor Freight. If you like, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Everyone out there, have a great day. This is Electron Man.